Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what you see in front of you is a brand new lock pick set from a startup company called DCA Power. And DCA Power sent me uh, this pick set, and I thought I'd do a review on it. Um, I'm not affiliated with DCA Power at all, and as far as I know, uh, they haven't been trading very long, but uh, they sent this through to me pretty fast. And what this set uh, aims to do is give you a great starter set of lock picks that have all the most used types of picks with no filler picks at all. So, you know, a really nice starter set. That's what they aim to give you. Um, all the kind of like most commonly used profiles and none of the weird ones that you don't really use. For example, you'll notice that in here you don't get a, a ball rake or a double snowman um, or uh, any sort of uh, weird multi rakes and things like that which are, are a bit odd. So I think by and large um, they got that right. So I'll take you through the picks one by one and um, I'll, I'll talk to you about that. Um, just look at the case briefly. What you get is a faux leather case with a sort of um, velvety interior. It's quite nice. It's got um, the DCA Power logo on and uh, the link to the website is below. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's faux leather. There isn't any sort of double stitching anywhere. It's an okay case, but we're not here for the case. So put that to one side. But what you do get is you get a really nice set of 10 picks, three, um, I guess you'd call them Z wrench, twisted Z wrench tension tools, and a couple of pry bar style tools. So overall, in terms of whether I think they got the right profiles, yeah, yeah, I do actually. Um, I think that these are some of the most useful profiles available. I think there's maybe one omission, I'll come on to that as we go through, but by and large, I think that these are actually really good profiles. Does it come with um, a good set of tension wrenches? Yeah, actually, they really thought about that. Really great to see some pry bars, so we'll have a look at those in close detail. And actually having these um, Z wrenches here with um, that fits both at the top and the bottom of the keyway uh, is, is actually a really nice addition too. So okay, we'll, we'll have a look at all of those. So what do you get in the kit? Well, the first thing is you get two different types of a standard hook. One is longer than the other. Now, a shorter picking tool is actually um, better, I think, in terms of feedback and pick strength. However, some locks, especially those seven pin locks, or locks which uh, the core is deeper set inside the lock, do need a longer pick. And that brings me on to the thing which I think that the, really the only thing that this set is sort of missing, in my opinion, is instead of having a longer pick shaft, and frankly, this one is long enough, in my opinion, for nearly every lock, I just want a deeper standard hook, a medium hook, somewhere between uh, this height and this deep access hook here, which I might as well show you now. So this is um, a thin deep access hook, and you'll see that every part of this hook is thinner, and it's a taller profile. So let's just put this back and do a little overlay comparison, and you'll see that it's um, it's, it's thinner in every regard. I just think that it would be nice to have something in between, a sort of medium hook. That would be my preference. Other than that, nothing to complain about. So you get a couple of sort of standard hook profiles. You get a deep access um, uh, hook, which is a bit thinned down. You get, uh, and this is an excellent addition, I think, is a, look at that, my favorite profile, a gem. You get, a deforest diamond. I don't use it, but I know it's very popular in the community. You get a very nice, I have to say it is a very nice um, medium half diamond and a, a nice thin shank profile. And then it gets quite exciting because um, these are three of the best rake profiles in my opinion. Um, you really don't need much more than this when you get going, which is a Bogota, a worm, and a snake. Um, 
this will get you into most of the locks which can be raked. It really, it really will. That and the half diamond, especially, they're great. The only pick out of these which I don't think is great, and that's that, you know, so far they they're all you know pretty great profiles, is this um, L range or, or city rake. Now that isn't a horrible profile. It's just quite short. See the L. L rake or city rake is supposed to be more for rocking than it is um, scrubbing. And if you actually look at a standard key, standard sort of a five or six pin key, you'll see that this is a bit short. So you probably need to move it uh, around um, back and forth in the lock, uh, more in a scrubbing action or an oscillating action than most city rakes or L wrenches, which are a bit longer. Um, what about the finish? What's about the quality? Well, these are, and I have measured them, they are right. These are in um, 24 thousandths of an inch spring steel. Spring steel isn't the strongest steel, but it is quite resilient. And with care, they will last you a long time. Or at least the metal will. Um, you'll see that the finish is pretty good. It does need a bit of a sand, but I don't know many commercial picks that don't. I think because this is spring steel, it looks a little bit like they've been coated with a, a shinier coating. Um, not a problem. It just means that it might you know, wear off over time. Um, but you'll see that the overall finish isn't bad. There's no sharp edges at all, actually. These are completely useful out of the box. Just show you a few more. Um, so I don't mind their spring steel. I don't mind the profiles. These are slightly thicker, but then this is a beginner's kit and they are spring steel. So having slightly thicker, or I guess the, I'm talking thicker this way, um, shanks or shank height, I guess you, if you want to call it that, I think that isn't bad if you are a beginner. It does give you a little bit more of a, uh, you know, what do you want to call it, stronger pick, would you say, um, for its for its uh, steel. What I really like is the handles. These are really nice. So there's no sharp edges at all. You can see where um, uh, they've been in the molding, but but they're really comfortable. And genuinely, uh, they, they feel great in the hand. I really like these hard plastic handles. They do convey the feedback of the pick really nicely. Um, 24 thousandths of an inch is, like I said, pretty good. Um, a lot of companies go somewhere around 23 to 25, so 24 is bang in the middle. Um, I would say that apart from this deep access hook and the half diamond, um, I think that the, the overall shank heights are maybe a little bit big for some European style locks. But for the most part, for most locks, these are very useful. And maybe I'll do a little bit of picking in a second. Before I do that, uh, let's just have a quick look at the tension tools you get. And I think there's a lot to, of good things to say about these as well. So you get um, three different thicknesses of tension tool. So they fit away from the pins. And what's really nice is that they have got a Z profile with a smaller hook at the end which is very good for going top of the keyway. So let's just uh, show you that here's a, a, a standard sort of American style lock and you can get tension by putting uh, the smaller hook at the top of that and you can use top of the keyway tension this way too. Overall, the finish of these is good. However, I do think that this is probably two millimeters too long at this end and both ends are a little bit sharp that is extremely easily remedied using a small finger file and a little bit of sandpaper. So no biggie for me. What else do you get? Well, you get pry bars. And these are actually quite nice because if you look, they've got little teeth at the end. That adds a little bit of extra grip. Again, I think that these are actually maybe one millimeter too long, the noses on these. Um, why do I say that? It's because some locks like this, that first pin is set quite deep into the lock some aren't so if uh, you are slightly unlucky uh, you might find that this doesn't go all the way in because it's resting against the first pin and that will 
really stop you from picking it so well. You get two thicknesses of these pry bars, by the way, and both have a sort of a shorter end and a longer end for those locks where the key, well, the keyway or the core is deeper set into the lock. Um, they're finished quite well. I, I do quite like these. Um, I believe that it's somewhere around, um, the, the thinner one is about 40 thousandths of an inch and the thicker one's about 46 thousandths of an inch. Um, they are really quite rigid and they do work quite well. I've tried these out. So it's really nice to see a starter kit with some really good strong pry bars and a nice set of tension tools. I really believe that this will get you into a lot of locks and it's actually quite a nice starter kit. So what is the price of this kit? This kit comes in at $29.99, I think, somewhere just under $30. Um, and that's US dollars, that's about £23. Now, you do get some great profiles, you do get some good tension tools, but that price point of $29 does put it bang in the middle of a lot of other makers out there who offer similar range and, um, and style of picks with, uh, and yeah, these guys are a startup. They've only just started out. Uh, you know, I, I think that's got to be taken into consideration. I do think that a starting point of just under $30 might be a little bit high in terms of getting people interested. Um, now internally, the postage in, a, in the US is under $5. That's excellent. In the UK, to get this delivered would have been just under $20. That is really quite expensive. Um, so again, has to be taken into consideration. Do I think that this is a good starter kit? Yes, I do. Do I think that the, the quality and the finish is up to standard? Yes, I do. Do I think there's any profiles I don't like? Not really, although I would say the L wrench is a little bit short. Do I think that it gives you a, a good range of tension tools? Yes, I do. If you live in the US, I would definitely say consider it. Genuinely, I, I would say you need to consider that if you think you have a starter kit because these profiles are all really blooming useful, okay? They get you into locks um, really quickly. The rakes are excellent. Um, the, the picks are great in terms of feel. Um, you know, uh, I'll just rake this. It's a simple um, five pinner lock, but you know, um, what should we do? Should we use the, the worm? I like using the worm. Um, you know, you'll be, you know, beginner lock, beginner picks, you'll be, you'll be whizzing through um, locks like this in, in no time with these. Um, so I, 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 I do sort of think that it's a, a, a great kit. I, I, I do. Um, maybe the price point is sort of letting it down a bit. Um, but, you know, these guys have just started up. So um, I think to be fair to them, it's going to probably take a, a, a while to be able to, you know, work on sort of volume discounts and those kind of things. So yeah, um, not to, to labor the point, but I would say, um, do we use a gem? Let's use a gem. I love this gem profile. Um, or should I say a uh, half diamond hybrid? Um, I, I've got to say that, um, you know, the, these are good picks. I really wish this company good luck. I think they do need a bit of consideration in terms of, um, um, you know, if you're going to buy a starter kit, I, I, I really would say to you, um, you know, look at these guys, go check out the link and see for yourself if you think it's worth it. Um, I, I, you know, I genuinely wish them the best. I think they've done a great kit. I don't think there's any more for me to say than that. Um, go follow the link, go check out their website. Let me know in the comments what you think and um, I guess I'll see you later.